All right, today we're going to be making a lidded box with slabs. We're going to use a template. It's going to help us to fold it up. We can use one piece, one slab of clay and fold it up to make our box form. So pay attention. Step by step, I'll show you. First thing you want to do is make a slab. Take your clay. Hammer it out a bit with your hands first. Put it on the table and hammer it down a bit. Keep it even. It just gets a good, you got a good start if you do it like that. Now I'm going to take the slab, angle. You don't want it to be real thick either, so let's keep it fairly thin. Let's see how thin we are. What I've done, I didn't mention it just now, is smoothing it out. Smooth out that slab a bit. All right, we know that this is going to be, we'll just take the middle, the middle section, the fillet of this slab. And I'm going to just trace the template. It's just like a stencil. Just like that. Okay, so here's the thickness of the wall. So you can see that's about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to put all my scraps, as always, together in a ball. You're going to need this in just a minute because you're going to make, what, the sixth side of this cube. So I'm going to put that in a ball. We're going to make a slab in a minute with that. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> and how do we do this? Well, you're going to be folding this up. Okay, so put your Put your template off to the side. And since I'm going to fold these together, I want to make sure that when I fold it up, I'm going to have enough space. I'm not trying to cram all this clay together. So I'm going to cut it at about a 45, <coughs> excuse me, look out right. Okay. All right, <clears throat> so now what you want to do, next step, is to score these walls. <clears throat> Put a little water in those score marks. You could also, wouldn't hurt, put just a little bit of slip. Like that. I'm trying to do this as neatly as possible. Now, the template, if you look at your template, you'll notice one side has lines cut on it and one side does not. The lines make, give this template the ability to bend one direction in a nice, crisp fashion, just like that. You see? Now if I take this and I try to bend it the other way, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So make sure when you are putting this under your clay that you put it with the lines that are cut face down. Pick it up, put it evenly onto the template, and push those corners together, just like that. OK, 
Okay. <clears throat> and while you have it sitting up like that, go ahead and put a coil in to those corners. Remember how important that is? That you put a coil to hold it together. Take some sort of a tool. And just press it into place. Just like that. Fold it up. Because you'll have time to smooth it out. Everyone else needs the template that you're using, so you need to go ahead and just do that quickly. You're going to come back in and smooth those corners later, but you go ahead while you have it, the template underneath it for support, at least go ahead and tap these coils in. Okay? help hold these walls up temporarily. And lastly, press those corners, put a small coil for now, not smoothing it, not finishing it yet, just for some support. That seems to be pretty, um, template seems to be pretty even. So what you could do now is, just so you make sure you, your, your walls are all the same height, go ahead and take a knife and trim the same height as the template. Which is gonna make your, everything even close to even. Still when you do the finishing it's going to need something else but we'll get to that. <clears throat> okay so there we go. Now you have that. Take your template off. Take it off the template and put that to the side. Alright so now you have a good start to your cube. Now what do you do next? Next we're going to score this because you're about to put the bottom on or top, whichever way you look at it. And watch how you're going to do the, the, I mean, the top is not very difficult or bottom, whichever way you look at it. But look, you're going to take the box. Once you folded it up, go ahead and score and slip. Put some slip, make sure you score it. Take it off the temp, throw this out a little more. So I'm going to throw it out a little bit more. Make a mark because you've scored it and you put some slip. So now you kind of have a mark there. Cut it a little larger than. You need it so you can have some clay to push around. Now you're just going to score those edges. Put our slip. Turn it back over onto the lid. Okay, so now it's attached. What you can do is just tap it. Take it and tap it. Just like that. and pull the edge of that lip up onto your box. Okay? And then you can just start smoothing and squaring up. Now what? Now that you have air trapped inside of it, you're going to be able to take that cube and tap it on all sides and kind of square things up a bit. 
a bit more. It's sealed so if there's air inside, it won't let it collapse. Now these spots that are kind of rough, you're gonna, once it gets leather hard, you're going to fill them in and really clean it up. You can take your rib tool and start to also square up these corners. Okay, and you're going to come back in and clean these spots where you attach that lid later. Okay, so you should be left with a cube that's ready to be cleaned up. All right.